the thing about betaine with pepsin is you have to kind of titrate the dose because if you get too much of it, it can actually cause a little bit of like symptoms, a little bit like acid reflux, um, a little bit of acid burning in your throat. And so you definitely want to start low and go slow and figure out what your target dose may be. If you don't take a high enough dose, you're going to find that it doesn't do anything for you. And what I typically recommend people do is that whenever they're eating a protein containing meal, they start with one capsule of betaine with pepsin and see how they feel. If they feel nothing, then at their next protein containing meal, they might take two capsules. If they feel nothing again, they'll increase that to three capsules at their next protein containing meal and so on and so forth until they feel like a slight burning. So if you feel a slight burning at, let's say, four capsules, that means that your target dose is actually three capsules. So you want to back off by just one capsule. If you feel that little bit of a burn, that means you got just a little bit of a higher dose of stomach acid than you needed. At that point, you can drink something like some people would recommend putting a teaspoon of baking soda in a cup and kind of sipping on that. And that generally neutralizes the effect, but then you figured out your target dose and that can be a really big game changer. I don't recommend going up above like seven or eight capsules per meal unless you're working with a practitioner. 